Hello everybody, welcome back. So we'll have a quick look at Bitcoin and we'll move on to Zill. And um, so just uh, just as an overview, continuation from what we said yesterday, there's uh, this downwards channel, this descending wedge channel, uh, which often breaks to the up, more likely to break out and go bullish from this channel once it's resolved. Um, but within here, we've got a very strong level of support, which is this green level here, about 31,500, more or less where we bounced from so far today. Probably going to come to the top of the channel. Until we break out of here and get a decent closure with volume, which is something that we've not had, uh, we did try to break out there the other day, uh, but it, 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 the, the volume is, is tiny. I mean, to be honest with you, the volume on Bitcoin at the moment is pretty lame, um, both ways. So neither, not, not in an enormous amount of volume for bulls nor for bears, which is why it's been so boring. The Bollinger Bands are pinching tighter and tighter each day. And so in my book, I am expecting volatility to increase any minute really any minute whether that's to the up or to the down i couldn't really tell you uh, but for the moment uh, the the chart does point to further downside more than the upside until we break out of this descending wedge formation and then then i would give it the benefit of the doubt and even though we do have pretty much every indicator on here suggesting further downside you know even though we've got a 100 uh, crossing the 200 uh, moving average at the moment which isn't anything you know you know textbook bearish but it's it's just another sign that that the uh, the, the momentum is shifting further to the downside yeah you know, I'd, if we break out of here and get a decent candle body closure, I would be looking to for pushes all the way up to possibly 40,000, maybe even 41, 42, and then we'll see where we can go from there. But for the moment, it's this sideways and and suppose sideways and down because the the main uh, area of of, um, of uh, rejection that we're getting here is this resistance trend line at the top part of this channel. And until we break out of there, it is going to be resistance all the way down. And even though this is a support, the next level of support is our previous um, bottom here about. 28, 29,000, and then if that breaks, then we do, we can still continue all the way down to the wire towards 25, you know, 25,000, and, and so on and so on, if we stay within this channel. So, like I say, it's a formation. We're waiting for a resolve on it. Volume is so low, I would expect volatility to increase into this, uh, in, into Bitcoin soon. But for the moment, it's very difficult to say exactly where it's going to go. But it's nice to see that so far it is still respecting the supports, still respecting the resistance. So we still have a fix on it. We still have a handle on it. And until we get a decent move to the up or to the down, we're basically going to be moving around within these channels. Descending, wedge formation, also inside range and outside range. Yeah, at the moment, uh, there's nothing more to say other than that. I have to say, though, you know, looking at the the way that the uh, the MACD looks turning down, um, the RSI is basically kind of flat, really. But um, it's, it's not really giving us any clues. But it, it I, I would expect further downside on this one unless we break out in this formation with conviction uh, and get a candle body close outside of there on a daily. However. We have had a little nudge down today, and I did quickly, briefly look at the Bitcoin dominance, and even though we are slowly and steadily beginning an uptrend, and we do have levels of support, um, we could easily come back down to this green 50 exponential, and if we break down that from there, then there, then a bit more of a downside back down to around 44 and a half is, is, is plausible. It's not guaranteed, it's plausible. Last time we broke down from this... Uh, from uh, from the, uh, the green 50 on the on, on the um, four hourly Bitcoin dominance chart, we did have a, a downtrend that took place, and it did break it down to more or less that level. So you know this technically could easily do that, even though I would expect the Bitcoin dominance to increase over time anyway. Um, it's it's likely to have a bit of a pullback now, and if we break down below there, then then further downside could even easily happen with maybe even a lower low, because if this is the high, this is a lower high, and this would imply that we would likely get a lower low. Again, this is only four hourly, so uh, my long-term um, projection for the Bitcoin dominance is that Bitcoin dominance is likely to increase more than decrease over the next few well weeks and months. So let's have a look at Zilliqa. So. The reason I'm, I'm looking at this isn't because it's anything special right now, uh, uh, but it has previously been something special, right? And so when we're thinking about what are we going to get involved in and where should we get involved in them, uh, I like to uh, I like to map out some of these charts now to see, all right, I, I set some alerts at some significant supports and see if those supports get broken. First area of support I would say would just be below six cents, so about five uh, five. 
we'll, we'll call it six cents. So an alert setting at, uh, at six cents for me has been placed. And I just want to see if that holds or if it breaks down. If it breaks down, I would actually, I'd, I'd actually be quite happy with that. Because I'd be looking for it to come back all the way back down to this first support just before the large breakout. Which again, you know, this might be wishful thinking, but I'm thinking, you know, it could it could happen. I'm not saying that it will. And that's another 50% drop down to three cents, right? So for those holding Zillica right now, you might be thinking, oh, this is terrible news. I don't want to hear this. But I'm not saying that it will. I'm just saying that this isn't a bullish chart, neither is anything really at the moment. And so we have to expect further downside as a matter of course. These things could easily have reached their bottom. And six cents should be a very strong support level for Zill. Um, but if it's not, then we do have to expect a really large drop. And, you know, I, for those who haven't been around in the market long enough, altcoins can really get hit really hard, especially if you go into a bear market. They, they, it's not impossible for to see things even things like this lose up to 90 percent 95 percent of the value or even more if you think about where we were at the very top at this double top wick all the way down to essentially a double uh, a double bottom wick 77 percent so it's held up better than most uh, but it's still pretty it's, it's still definitely pretty wrecked and um, so death cross that's fine uh, below the cloud below all major moving averages surfing the bottom of the bollinger band coming back down to what could be that six cent zone um, again, you know, we see the Bitcoin dominance uh, decreasing at the moment in the face of this pullback that we've had overnight or over the last, well, I suppose over the last 24 hours or so. Uh, and so I would expect a relief rally. This doesn't look very strong to me. It definitely doesn't look strong at all. So I would expect it over the next few days uh, to likely come back down to here. But we're going to I think we're going to get relief rallies today and tomorrow. Um, but, you know, looking at this chart, really, it's, it's, it's not very happy at all. So let's go to the weekly, see if there's any clues and indicators to suggest, you know, where, you know, if we're looking to catch knives, I would I would try to catch a knife at six cents. But remember, if we did catch a knife there, it doesn't mean that it's definitely going to hold there. Everything on the chart suggests further downside, and uh, and that would imply that if it doesn't bounce and we don't bottom out at six cents, then three cents, almost, almost certain. Uh, almost certainly going to happen. Um, the, uh, the the MACD on the weekly is still making lower lows and lower highs. That's not a good sign. Um, the uh, money flow index is still trickling out. The MACD is just crossing into the zero point. So all of that implies further downside. Doesn't look good. Uh, I have to say it doesn't look good. But we give it the benefit of the doubt. If this is a strong support, like it looks like it wants to be, there's no reason why this can't turn around at this level. Um, but it's a very risky knife catching event. Uh, there's lots of altcoins that are going to look like this. And if people haven't been around for long enough to see what altcoin charts generally look like, they don't look like this. If we go back in time and, uh, and just put it on the log scale, I suppose, might make more sense to take the Bollinger Bands off. Now, this isn't the best example of what altcoins generally look like, but think about what this was here, right? So this 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 was a nice move, this was a nice move, but this was a horrendous move, right? All altcoins can do this, right? Any altcoin, <laughs> any altcoin can do this, uh, and they can go lower and lower and lower and lower, uh, lower than you could ever imagine them to go, all right? So there is an enormous amount of risk, which is why unless you're looking to catch the knife which might not work out for you, especially, this is across the board with all, all altcoins at the moment, right? All altcoins, you can try and catch knives, but you have to respect the fact that, you know, this could go down to three cents. And if three cents breaks, then it could go down to this da level down here, just prior to the actual breakout. One, So we were talking another 50% from there. And again, you know, my experience with altcoins is that um, you have to, you, you do have to be very, very careful and respect the uh, the potential uh, massive downside and that would that would take us down to about 93 percent and that is very um reminiscent of how altcoins behave in a bear market and if we do enter a bear market and for bitcoin the bear market might only reach 60 or 70 percent altcoins can reach 90 95 98 99 99.9 percent .9 retracements so they can do that they can do that now i'm not saying that zill would do that and zill is a little bit better than most but if we enter the bear market which we are toying with the idea of confirming that bear market now and uh, then uh, then yeah expect the worst expect the worst but knife catchers feel free to try i'm not a financial advisor but six cents seems relatively good and then thereafter it's a 50 percent drop from there and then a 50 percent drop from there so beware
Anyway, I'm going to leave with you there. Um, I'll be back home on Saturday, and I will be making some better videos. I promise. I'm stuck with this rubbish laptop. There's just noise everywhere. Uh, it's, it's been it's been a nice little holiday for the kids, but not so good for the channel. So I appreciate your uh, your perseverance, and I hope you have a nice day. And take it easy.